Hi, I'm Josh Ayers, a proud co-founder of The Urchin Merchants, where saving the ocean is our business. Everyone knows deforestation is a huge issue. When you think about saving the environment, planting more trees is often one of the first ideas that come to mind. If 95% of the trees on our land had disappeared in the last seven years, most of us would be panicked. Unfortunately, I'm here to tell you this is a problem actively occurring in our oceans. This frightening statistic is an unfortunate reality for many of the kelp forests off the coast of Northern California. 95% of them have died in the last seven years in correlation with a 10,000% increase in the purple sea urchin population. The purple sea urchin are eating the kelp and destroying the ecosystem, which naturally sequesters 20 times the carbon dioxide that our forests on land do. This is not an isolated issue. It is well documented off the coast of California, but with rising ocean temperatures, this is a problem soon to be seen globally. As the kelp forests die, the ocean's ecosystem as a whole is being damaged and something must be done now. If my words can't convince you, maybe those of one of the greatest naturalists to ever live can. If a forest was destroyed, I do not believe nearly so many species of animals would perish as would from the destruction of the kelp. I've given you so many frightening statistics, but I'm also here to tell you this is not a hopeless case. As our world deteriorates from climate change, many of us can be left feeling hopeless, but restoring the kelp can make a difference. That leads me to what can be done. Thankfully, studies have shown if we remove these purple sea urchins, kelp is able to fully recover within five years and grow up at up to two feet a day, getting oxygen back into our ecosystem much faster than any trees on land could. Unfortunately, this is more difficult than it sounds with early estimates showing 10 to 15 years to clear one reef alone in Oregon. And that's where our team comes in. We have designed an underwater vacuum able to collect high volumes of nearly any object with a very efficient air compression system. Our custom nozzle has been designed to take in compressed air from a hookah dive system and use that to create a very efficient pumping mechanism for collecting urchins. We have implemented a sorting system able of dividing urchins into large and small, creating a profitable byproduct for our users. The 55 gallon bags seen here are able to collect up to 1600 urchins per bag, but our system is designed to fit a bag of any size for versatility in other applications. We have also spent much time on the ergonomics for our underwater clientele, making sure this device is easy to use at a high rate. So that leads us to our current competition. Currently, the only methodology being used to remove these urchins is sending divers by hand to whack at them with ice picks, which is frankly barbaric and obviously inefficient. We believe we can increase the collection rate six times from these divers, while also giving them a profitable byproduct that has been sorted and ready to be sold. We have already been in contact with numerous nonprofit agencies who have given us explicit interest in purchasing our product. But through our strengths in underwater collection at a high volume, we believe we could jump into numerous industries. Anyone else fighting invasive species, anyone that wants a large amount of water circulation could benefit from our product. Our team consisting of Zach, Dorothea, Heather, Justin, Jacob, and myself has over 10 years of engineering experience between us and are passionate and excited about this project because we know it can make a difference in the world. The world needs our kelp forests and we know that we can save them. Our planet is currently at war with climate change, but with your support and funding, this is one battle that we know that we can win.